What's an ideal market to buy and sell in? Well, that depends on where you're at in your home buying and your home selling journey. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brenda Kay with the Halifax Home Selling Group. This is the sweet Miss Frankie who's with me every day. We're going to talk about the different types of markets today and then we're going to say who's the ideal buyer. So you've got, we're going to start with, because it is cyclical, we're going to start with the buyer's market. Buyer's market, typically properties are on the market over six months. The supply is here and the demand is here. Who's the ideal buyer? First time home buyer. Because you're going to get a good deal on what you're buying you're not going to take a hit on what you're selling. Then we have the balance market. Myself, I love the balance market. So balance market, you have an equal number of sellers, equal number of buyers. So you're on the market average of three, three to five months for a balance market. Who's the ideal buyer if you're selling and then buying? So if you're upsizing, say, with your family, perfect. You're not going to lose on the buying end. You're not going to gain on the selling end. It's going to be a nice, um, easy transition. Seller's market. Seller's market runs zero, zero to three months. So we've got areas in Halifax right now, unprecedented uh, the days on market. I mean, I was looking at some values today between 700 and 900, and the median days on market is 10. That is crazy. Who's the ideal, uh, well, say buyer or seller, who's the ideal person that wants to sell their home in the, in the seller's market? You're looking at it, baby boomers. If you don't have something to sell, you're going into an apartment. There are, there are apartments like Larry Utech, you've got Timberley, you've got Russell Lake West. Now's the time to sell your home. It's unprecedented. So, and that's why you don't, if you want to do the buy sell, it's really hard because you're going to gain on the sell, but those dollars are going to go out the door on your buy. So buyer's market, great for first time home buyers, balance market when you're buying and you're selling and the seller's market when you do not have to buy again. I remember when um, I read a book in 1984 called the popcorn report saying that the world was going to see the most uh, senior citizens it ever has in starting the year 2015. So you can imagine 1984, you think by 2015, we're gonna be in fly, flying cars. But that's not, what ha that's not what's happening. And we are on the last year of the baby boomers and the demographic is huge. We don't know how long this market is going to go on out there. There's some beautiful new apartment buildings. The, the empty nesters are driving the rentals in that uh, area, like I said, we've got Russell Lake West, we've got Baker Drive, we've now got Timberley, some beautiful buildings around. So that's the real estate portion today. Let's talk about the stats. Talk about a seller's market. There's 796 active listings. Isn't that crazy? At this time in 2017, there were over 2,000 active listings. We had 104 new listings come on the market and we sold 152. So let's talk about days on market, 26. Now remember, this is a combination of single condos, detached, townhouses, you name it, in the Halifax, Dartmouth region. So our average price was 361,000 this week. So I thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoy my channel. Hit subscribe if you like it. And Miss Frankie and I will be back next week. Cheers.